Hello, I'm Wanderer 001, and this is my review of the WISE Scale, brought to you by the people who normally do security cam and home automation. WISE has recently started a foyer into connected health devices, we'll call it. Uh, first, they had the WISE Band. Well, I reviewed the WISE Band first over there in the corner, but at the same time they released the WISE Band, they also came out with the WISE Scale here. Now, one of the big selling factors, and I'm going to lead off with that, is the price. WISE has been known for having competitively priced products. Uh, I don't know if you've looked into a smart scale. I never looked into a smart scale before, but I knew I needed a scale around the house. Uh, and WISE came out with the smart scale about the time I was looking, so it worked out for me. So, smart scale from WISE is only $20. Go compare that to some of the other more high-end models and you're going to be paying much, much more. That's not to say that WISE doesn't pack a lot of stuff into this for that price tag, so let's take a quick look at the scale itself. What you're looking at is a 12 by 12, it's, it's a scale. The top is glass, so it does collect dust and you can see right here, fingerprints or you know, when you're stepping on it, it, it collects grease, we'll, we'll just say that. It is a nice large display there, you can lean on that, you'll see. So when you first step on it, it goes right into recording your weight. And then there's some other biometric stuff that it does after the fact, which you can check out on the scale. Now, the scale itself is super thin, being only one inch thick. If we flip it over to the back here, you will see the, the compartment, which houses the four included AAA batteries to run the scale. You also have these foot pads here, which are plastic, they're not rubberized, and they kind of do wiggle a little bit, which is nice. Now, to use the scale, you do need to use it on a completely flat surface. I tried using this on several things that I thought were flat enough, and what you get is you probably hear it here. It's not totally flat on my table here, so it wiggles around. So I ended up trying this on carpet. I tried it on several different locations in my house. And what I ended up doing was just getting a piece of wood and sticking this on it. And then I can actually use it accurately because the weight, if it's shifting around like this, is not 100% accurate. Now, because this is a smart scale, there is some setup that needs to happen. So the question is, how easy is it to set up? All right, this is setup of Wise scale. First step is to flip it over and to open the compartment here. It's just nice and easy slide. Uh, and put in the four included AAA batteries, making note of the positive and negative connections. Once that's done, simply pop the door back on and flip it over. And then we move into utilization, the WISE app. Phone into view over here and record also on the phone. So we're going to come up, click the three dots and we're gonna add a new product and we're gonna scroll all the way down. We're doing a scale. So it wants to know a few things about you. I am a male. I'm not going to show you my birth date. Um, I am 5'7", so that's fine. Athletic mode. Well, we're going to leave that off for now. And I will set a birthday off camera. All right, so the birthday is actually just your birth year. So it doesn't need your specific, specific, specific. So we're just going to say, yes, I was born in 83, so I am a old person. Uh, all right, and next. All right, so it wants me to turn this on. It won't let me proceed without it, so we're going to turn that on and select next. So now it's searching for the scale. All right, so it says I need to check the batteries in the scale, maybe. Let's make sure that our Bluetooth is on. Oh, so it says, please step on the scale to activate it. So I'm going to, all right, so it says that it didn't pick it up and it's probably because I didn't step on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this in reverse and see if it will turn on. All right, so I wonder 
if I put one of those batteries in incorrectly. So we're gonna take a look at that. Okay, now that was my bad. I did put the first battery in incorrectly, which is why it did not work. So when you flip it over after you put the batteries in right away, it's going to flash on the screen there. So what we're gonna do now is using the app, I'm going to go back and we're gonna do this again. So there's all my information. I'm going to step on the scale to activate it. Oh, and it is asking me to step on this with uh, bare feet. So this is going to be interesting because where I have the camera set is not going to be uh, useful for doing this. So we're gonna try and do this uh, backwards, see if this works. So, have on screen, it's doing it backwards, it's doing uh, percentages there, and it's letting me know that there's a new firmware update, and hopefully, that kinda came through. Like I said, I'm doing this backwards. Uh, I think, I think it's all connected. So it wants me to upgrade. So we're gonna upgrade that, see how long that takes. And you can see the scale itself lets you know that it's actually upgrading. It's also connected uh, via Bluetooth. So this probably isn't sitting on my Wi-Fi, which is good because it's one less thing I have to worry about being on my Wi-Fi network. Now, I'm not gonna make you sit through the entire update process. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pause and uh, come back when it's done. All right, so after the update went through, uh, you see here on my screen, uh, because I was doing it backwards, it uh, <laughs> shows that I'm 46 pounds. I am not 46 pounds. Uh, so that was just to set it up. What I'll do now is I'll end up using it and uh, get actual better trends and see what we can do here. So as long as you remember to put the batteries in correctly, setup for this is not terrible. Now, one of the things with this being a smart scale is you wanna know, can it handle multiple users? Yes, you can have multiple users with the smart scale. However, each person needs to have the WISE app and their own WISE account. You can't have multiple users on the same WISE account. With multiple users, I've tested a couple of different things in that if there are large enough discrepancies in weight, so I pretty much sat with a 28 pound cat litter box in my arms and took my weight, as long as you don't have the app open, it's not gonna record that because it does have an internal memory and if you step on this and it's not connected to your phone, it will store that data and then the next time you sync the phone, it will pull that data. But if there is a large enough discrepancy, it will not suck that data in. So that was kind of interesting to know. Again, I sat there with a 20 out, 28 pound box of cat litter trying to see how little a discrepancy it needed. So with having the glass top here, it does have a waterproof rating of IPX3, which is pretty much just spray. It's, it's not super waterproof, but it is waterproof enough that if you drip some water on this out of the shower, you'll be perfectly fine. So the heart of what this can do is pretty much measured through the WISE app. So let's take a look at what the WISE app shows you based on what you get from the WISE scale. The WISE scale lives within the WISE application. So it does, again, just like I said with the WISE band, kind of feel a little cluttered in here with like my smart home devices, but unlike the WISE band, it does not need to have the app constantly running in the background. So I do like that. So if we come in and select WISE scale, it loads up. You'll notice currently it is not connected to anything because the WISE scale is all the way downstairs, but it just connected to Bluetooth. Here it will show you your last reading. So this is my last measurement. Here you've got a plethora of data that it pulls. So if we tap on that, it shows you body fat, muscle mass, body water, lean body mass, bone mass, protein, visceral fat, BMR, and metabolic age. So I will say I am rather happy that it takes off a couple years uh, <clears throat> once I got down to a certain weight. Scrolling down here, you have a table of weight data. And we're gonna click on that in a moment, but 
All the way down here at the bottom, you have heart rate. Heart rate is only available if you stand on the scale and trigger heart rate. So if I tap on that and I'm not standing on the scale, it will not actively run this. You'll see here's just some past data when I was testing it out. Now, if we click on the trend table, you can see you have weekly, monthly, and yearly. Well, I haven't had it quite a year yet, but you have weight and then body fat. Now, I did. Normally, what I do is I do this in the afternoons, so for whatever reason, I ran it today and my weight was down, but my body fat percent was up running this in the morning. But I can show you a year, so I've been using this, and if we click all the way over here, since April 2nd, and this is just the trend line. So like I said, it was really good, and then we kind of got around Memorial Day weekend and things went off. But you have a nice trend line there. If you click on any of the days, it will give you an exact breakdown for that particular day. However, there are no trend lines for all that other data. It's only weight and body fat. So you get what you get with it. I mean, a lot of the information aside from weight, I don't know what to do with myself, but maybe you do. Up here in the upper right hand corner, no matter what tab we're on, think of it as your settings. So clicking on that, will show you a history, and the history is just that. It shows you when the weight was taken, the time it was taken, and general percentages. You can click on that and it will open up the history a little better than using that chart. If for whatever reason we wanted to, we can select edit, and we can pick any one of these days and remove something. So hypothetically, if something got registered that shouldn't have gotten registered, you can always use that to delete it. Coming back to the main page here for the Y scale, here we have settings. The Name a device which you can change, you share. You can share the device with another person. Keep in mind they need their own WISE account. You have your user, which is your email address. Units, you can change to pound or kilograms. You've got authorized third-party apps. Now, right now, the scale will only work with Google Fit. Now, supposedly in the future, it will work with Samsung Health and Fitbit, but right now you either have Apple Health or Google Fit. Hopefully more will come in the future. Power, save mo power saver mode, on or off. For me, I keep this on. It just takes a little longer to reconnect via Bluetooth, no big deal. You've got device info and then support. So really for the scale itself, it is a very trimmed down Spartan compared to what you get with the cameras or the sensors or the light bulbs. But again, it's a scale. It's taking your weight and recording it and doing metrics. Hopefully they will integrate with those other services a little sooner. So all in all, I've been using the Y scale for several months now, running tests. I pretty much use it daily. Just get on, check weight, because uh, that's what it is. It's a scale. It's supposed to help measure things. And since we've gone into lockdown, having this and knowing that I was going to review it has kind of helped motivate me uh, to kind of get my weight down uh, while we've been on lockdown. So if you, like me, are looking for a scale but want to upgrade to a smart scale, you can't go wrong with a $20 smart scale from Wise. So if you haven't gotten the impression, $20, I really think it's a no-brainer. But that's your call to make. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.